Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we climbed the Tower of Fanatics, defeated the White Dragon and the Magic Master, and got not only a Holy Lance, not only a weapon for Shadow, but the Soul of Thamasa that allows double cast, which is awesome. Now, we are in the opening to the Ancient Castle, which has a few treasures. Some really awesome, some not so awesome. And we're fighting the Figaro Lizard and the Devil again. Who would have thunk it? None of these fights, like I said, are incredibly menacing. Some are annoying. I won't I won't argue the point there, but a lot of the time it, it's just annoying. Oh shit. That was level 3 model, wasn't it? I don't know what levels we are. And the only one unsafe is the guy who was about to attack. That fucking figures. Why did he hit Cyan? I'm amazed he didn't bla backlash your ass. I would have. <laughs> Asshole. But in here we have a high aether, which is going to be useful, I guess. I didn't buy tents. Anyway, down here. Oh my god. I want to be full health for the fight. Figaro lizard. Poke. What do you do with spears? You poke people with them. Get it right to people. Oh, nice block, dude. Now, this upcoming fight is one I'm probably going to lose. But it's for a really nice weapon. Sign gain level, Mogler and Teleport, Lock gain a level. Woo! That increases my chances of not getting my ass severely owned in this upcoming fight. That's comforting. Um, level 33 average. Open up the chest, and it's a monster in a box. What are we fighting? The Master Tonberry. Don't say I didn't warn you. This fight's gonna suck. He's really strong, and he'll always counter with a uh, Traveler, which is gonna suck. Oh, he doesn't counter with Traveler, I guess. Not magic, anyway. But he'll use it. Oh, he will. Let's... Get all the way back up to rank 7 and unleash hell. He's usually used Traveler by now, but I guess... Oh, barrier change. Let's Libra him, then. I didn't know he could do this. You don't know Libra. You suck. Defend. I don't want to go screwing this up, so you do Libra. You don't know Libra either, do you? Okay, Locke. Do Libra. <laughs> Libra. He will move closer to you. The closer he is, the more he'll fuck you up. Level 73, lots of HP, lots of MP, weak against water. However, we do not have water. So, sir, you are going to Libra him again. Deep, deep. Now while that's going on, you get to Bushido. Because you get to load while the screen is doing nothing. And you can still do damage. We can get to water again. Oh, here comes Traveler. And here comes my fuck up. Ow. I'm going to go off of faith and say you're still weak to water. Fire. So, yeah, let, let's wait to see what Mog does with Fyra, and then I will Farega. Nothing? Okay, um, Thandara? Man, you don't like Cyan very much, do you? Kadoosh! Huh? Well, that's just on this side of awkward. Okay, poke. I got the poking stick. That's better. <laughs> yeah, I never knew he could barrier change. This is new to me. Haha. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> if only I were a single target. That would have been funny. Kick his ass, dude. I wonder if he counts as a humanoid. 
I'm not going to chance using the Holy Lance again, so let's fire again. I guess he doesn't count as a humanoid. Shame. Oh, Jesus, will you just stop doing that, dude? What the fuck? Wait, didn't I just... No, I hadn't equipped it yet. Motherfuck. Um... Hopefully Cyan can finish this, because if not, then... Oh, there we go. Cool. He was a lot stronger than the Super Nintendo version. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I just remember a pain in the ass. But we got the Gladius. And this is probably going to be even stronger than the Holy Lance, so... Yep, check that shit out. It's an awesome dagger. Maybe I should just keep him on the Holy Lance and give the Gladius to her. In retrospect, I mean... It would be more fair to her, so I just might do that. Because she's had the Maneater now for how long? So yeah, let's give him back the Holy Lance and he she can have the Gladius. Because that is, oh, so much better. There you go, hun. And you, sir, need a high ether. And we need to sort this mess out a little bit. We have a lot more elixirs than anything else anymore. Probably going to start using those. Anyway, we can just come through the wall here. And there's a treasure down there. A treasure specifically for a setzer. And I kind of want it, so... La 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 la. Up oh, there goes the Holy Lance. Yeah, we have regular Holy now. That did jack fucking nothing. What do you expect, huh? Level 4 flare. Oh shit. Owie. Who's fucked? No one. Cool. Probably wouldn't have killed anyone to begin with, but still, I'm, I get kind of sketchy around that. Realm Lord Fire! Yeah! And we come down these stairs, go down and to the right here. Oh, lordy. So much fighting. So much pain. So much unnecessary. Un unnecessity. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they hate me. Haha! <laughs> Suck you. Ah, oh, Lord. Don't discord me, that's useless. No level halved, who gives a shit? Just die. Thyler, Bio, Muggler, Banish. Alright. This is actually a really good magic grinding spot if there wasn't a better one. <laughs> oh, you guys will see soon enough. So let's heal all the way up again. This might be a long video because I want to take out all three bosses here at once. Got the Death Tarot. Four sets, sir. Of course, tarot are cards and stuff. So yeah. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Enuo is the thing on top, and I really don't know what to say about them. They're kind of boring. They're auto-poisoned, so they hurt themselves in battle, which I find a completely pointless for an enemy. I mean, I think just because he's poison elemental, I think, might be the cause of this. But, uh, yeah. Yes, poison is an elemental in this game. There's an actually a class called Poison. So I unlearned Break, Realm gained a level. Is he already... No, he has Death still. I was about to say, it's like, dude, slow your butt down. Actually, don't. The faster we get you done on everything, the faster we can actually get everything done. So, Quetzali is still kind of close. Phoenix, eh. Fenrir, I think you're done. No, I still need stop. And Kadobla Pass, you still need death. So, yeah, I knew that. 
Anyway, there are a little bit of treasure around here. I think there's at least a tent in here, so we're gonna want that. Let's kill the poison thing before anything else. Stop it! Oh my god, that hurt. That really hurt. Oh my god. No! Damn it. You see? That's why I'm glad Locke blocked that before. That really fucking hurt, you little dick. Now here's hoping it never happens again. Otherwise, I'll be very, very upset with you. Oh no. Wait. Only Rum's level. Five. Huh. This is for Rum, bitch. Locke learns Sloga and Haska. He is done with Quizali. So, what now? Hmm. He's done most of the ones on top, if not all of them, except for, well, Dispel and Drain, which I, I really don't care about. And, uh, we can give him a Guard Summer, Alexander, which is a lot faster to Dispel. But I'm going to give him Valamangarda. Valagarmanda, sorry. I always excuse those two, I'm sorry. Let's come down here, and I'm pretty sure one of these chests have a, Well, there's a Magicite Shard. And this should be a tent. Next potion. Yeah, who the fuck cares about tents anymore, right? I do. Ah, <sighs> lord. This is gonna be so annoying. No, I'm killing your ass now. No. Thank you. I don't care about slime, that's just slow. Fuck you. Yeah, a lot of the enemies down here are weak to holy, so if you come with the Gladius and the Holy Lance, both, you're probably a lot better off. And let's hope that the NUO dies. My objective, guys, this morning is to make it all the way to Kefka's Tower. At least make it to the start of. But there's going to be a few, like say an hour or so, where I'm going to do nothing. Like, I'm going to show you a video of what I'm going to do. Horizon Kirega. Kill. Kill. Killness. Um. I'm going to at least make a video to show you the best grinding spot for magic, which is more important than anything else. And I'm also going to show you the grinding spot for everything else, the experience. And that largely depends on how strong we are. Because the grinding spot itself is fucking brutal, and yeah, we're probably going to get terrorized if we try to go there now. That's why I'm going to do the magic grinding spot before the other grinding spot. So, we are just about to the ancient... Oh, we are at the ancient castle. And this is an actual interesting story. What is this place? This is a flashback. This isn't actually happening. It's an Esper attack. Let loose our Espers. This is the site of a thousand-year-old battle. Lord Odin is the only Esper left to us. Has he recovered from his injuries? Doesn't matter. We have no other choice. We must leave this final battle in Odin's hands. A city destroyed during the War of the Magi. Zentetsuken. Zentetsuken.
impressive enough thought you'd be able to turn me to stone. There's a legend that tells of an ancient battle between the Esper Odin and a powerful magus. It took place in the great hall of the castle. How we know this is beyond me? But I think it's just like a fairy tale like thing and he recalled it or something. I don't know. That wasn't actually Locke. That's whoever's leading your team at the time. See, the Gladius is rather powerful and there are very few enemies that absorb holy. So it's really something to remember. Leech. Uh, but you're not missing any HP. Haha. <laughs> Now you're missing HP. Suck it. Um, there are two more boss fights in here. I'm going to try to cover both of them. But first, there is a room over here. And inside said room is... The Punisher. This is the Madagus Staff, I do believe. Which is pretty awesome. Pointless, but awesome. More of this! Die, you pig! Thank you. You're still not missing any HP, dude. Just thought I'd let you know that. And you're dead. Woo! Scion gained a level. Lock gained a level. Woo. Moving up in the world. Anyway, you want to come up here. And there's a treasure chest holding the next boss fight. The Samurai Soul. He does a lot of the tricks the ninjas used to. Only he's not a ninja. He's a samurai. Anyway, Bushido. Eventually, we'll get to rank 7, and then we can start unleashing hell. Eventually. He does other stuff, but he likes those scrolls, so, uh... You know what? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. That pisses me off. Spam this, bitch. That was 110% my fault, though, so whatever. I just fucking hate that. Whoop. Hee hee. Ow. I'm starting to think that maybe that would have done more damage if I just physically attacked him. <laughs> Damn it, Mog, why do you suck so hard? Rum is proof of this. Samurai Soul's power increases. I think he's now impossible to hit with physical attacks. But why? <laughs> I needed my physical attacks. Let's... Maybe... I don't know. Something. No, I I'm not doing that again. If only I had the Ultima weapon. Actually, I could probably just switch off. But that's boring, so let's dispatch. Or Fang, whatever. And... Nukage! Haha, hit you. Ha, hit me. <laughs> what? I am so sorry, Cyan. I am so fucking sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> Shit. What the hell? Uh, give me a sec, guys. Never mind, I'm sorry. <sighs> Stupid ol. Stupido. Yeah. Um, I think he's down against physical now, so let's bash his face in. Yeah, man. Destroy. Rom's never going to get a turn at this rate. Because the ass-kicking spree has begun. Um, you can steal stuff from him. I'm not going to. I think you can actually steal a more Akumo from him. Or beat it out of him or something. I don't know. But, Assassin Blade, yeah, Mog's down. Fuck you. I don't even think this fight is close to being over, though. That's the scary part. 
Because I, I remember this guy being a pain in the ass, and he hasn't been a pain in the ass so far. Like, he's been annoying. He hasn't been no pain in the ass, though. So, I, I, I'm beginning to wonder, actually. Shockwave, here it comes. Okay, I, I guess healing him would have been good. Ish, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure anymore. Goddamn lightning scroll. Fucking my people up. Nuke! Oh, will you stop that? That's fucking cheap. Underhanded motherfucker. Locke does the most damage. Who else is surprised? No one! Because Locke is awesome. Gale cut. See, he has a lot of nifty little tricks up his sleeve. That's what makes him so goddamn annoying. Ah, uh -huh, eat me. Ow. <laughs> but now that he has reflect up, Realm isn't at her best. You can die today, please. Up oh, there we went. Yay! We win. There are four different katanas. You can steal two of them, and I think you can he can drop the other two. But only one of them. Five magic AP, got the master scroll, and a lot of gill, but no sword. Oh well, none of them were any better than what he has already, so, uh, yeah. That's only if you wanted, like, pairs of stuff. Yeah. Anywho, um, we got the master scroll. And I might not use that because I like the backlash, but th what the Master Scroll does, essentially, is, um, once I get to it, Master Scroll allows the bearer to attack from, f the bearer to attack four times per turn. Now, if you pair this with the Genji Glove, that means eight attacks. Yeah. Awesome, huh? I'm going to save that, though, because there's a combo that I can use later. Well, not much later, but later on, that will actually help me out a lot, so... <laughs> Let's go to the main castle now. And go get us a Magisite. Armored weapon. I thought it was going to be called an Io, like the thing in the cave, but whatever. I'm not arguing the point. These things are strong against physical. So let's see if we can blitz his ass with Lindara. And flare, apparently. <laughs> I likes me some flare. Yeah, that worked better. That's Thundara. Thundala. Oh my god, really? That is underhanded. That is underhanded as fuck. I guess Mog is dead. Oh well. We're not using magic anymore. Fuck magic. Magic is a death machine. Magic is a lie. It's a trap. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Cyan learned death. Finally done with Katobla Pass. Uh, itchy nose. Um, so it's gonna give him Alexander next? Sure, why not? Not like he's doing anything else. And I actually do want every character to learn every spell. Even though that takes a lot of time and espers I don't have right now. I'm just gonna teach them what I can. Anyway, oh my god, enough of the fucking fights. The Lunatus? Hmm. And we still have another boss fight to do, so, uh... It's gonna be a while. So, if you dislike long videos, I'm warning you right now, that's probably gonna be a long one. Because we have a dragon to fight. Yeah, no shit. There, I spoiled it for you. Happy. And that sucked, sir. Will you stop it? Fucking really? Ugh. Assholes.
Okay, that's all probably my fault due to the fact that I don't have him any good defensive equipment. But you know what? Still, fuck that. They need to leave him alone. Oh god. Haha. <laughs> Blocked your ass. Meteor this, cunt. See, a lot of good MP gain here. Like, AP gain, I should say. So, it's really worth it to stick around. However, that fight was annoying compared to what we could be fighting. Anyway, talk to Odin. And he'll finally crumble away into nothing. Leaving us a shard of magicite. Obtained the Odin magicite, and this magicite, for all intents and purposes, has meteor, which is uh, d d d d useless. I'm sorry to say that. Um, he teaches it at a speed that is completely pathetic and unnecessary. So, uh, yeah. You're doing pretty good on Valak Garmanda, and you are doing decent on Phoenix, so we're probably leaving you there. We already taught you stop, so... where are you going from here, buddy? You can go here. And you're on Alexander simply because I want you to be. Odin isn't long for this world. Well, let me say that. Anyway, there is a switch right here. And that opens up to the next area. However, we want to grab these treasures, one of them being the blizzard orb, and the other one being a gold hairpin. Gold hairpins are very nice, and I want lots of them. So, yeah. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I'm nuking him. Why not? Try disaster! What? Well, at least we have Sonic Dive coming, and then Alexander. Yep. Sonic Dive. We are dodging. Electrode this bitch. And slowly, we'll all come down on his head. Their heads. Hopefully, initiating a one-hit kill on all of them. One. Dead. Leave him alone. Two. Probably dead, yep. Three. Not dead. Four. Not dead. Divine Judgment. Good thing to land on. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Alexander. You know what? Why do you suck so hard, dude? Finally, be fucking useful, you dick. Man, Locke, block some more, why don't you? is a beast, and it's all thanks to that shield. So I didn't learn to spell Mon got haste and slow right off the bat. Jesus. That's awesome. That is awesome, sir. Anyway, in here we virtually have nothing, but you want to hit this? There is a book encrusted with glittering gems. The Queen's Diary. I have fallen in love with Odin. It is a forbidden love, I know, but the flames of passion obey not rule or reason. Every time I think of that noble man, my heart flutters the fans of, and fans the flames yet more. And who could rightly fault it? When the fighting ends, I shall tell him. I must. And that day never came, I guess. At the bottom of the stairs is another area, and here is the blue dragon. And yet, we are really low on MP, and since Cyan is not going to be using it, let the fight begin. Blue Dragon. Water. Remember Leviathan? Yeah. <laughs> Something along those lines. Only a lot easier. Because, remember, Tsunami would have laid everyone to waste? Yeah. <laughs> This fight's a lot more tolerable, but this is basically to get you ready for the uh, Leviathan fight. If you can fight him and do it without much issue, you have a pretty good shot at beating... And it's lagging? Really? Uh, okay, we're paused. Uh, this is one of the last areas we have to do in my memory. Um, I'm still trying to think. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am.
So, after this, there's one more area, which will only take one video, if I do it well enough. It's really a fun area, though. One more area, and then I'm going to grind. Hopefully we can get to Kafka's Tower. This might be a little sketchy. I already know who my three teams are going to be. And I kind of wanted to start Kafka's Tower today, but with how time's looking, I have roughly two to three hours to do this. It might not happen today. It'll probably happen tomorrow. But tomorrow will probably be endgame. So, I'm going to grind, and then maybe if I can get to level 50-ish fast enough, I will show you the extra summons that I can fight now. Um, this includes a lot of luck, a lot of good timing on my part, hopefully. And, again, I want to be able to get Leviathan with Mog in the team, because then he can learn his last dance, and I can actually say I 100%ed at least Mog. Um, there's one more area after this, it's called the Zone Eater. Yeah, it, it's a... It's a zone eater. It's really weird, and I'll show you why. Um, and suffice to say, um, I want at least everyone level 50. Or 45. Somewhere between 45 and 50 would be really nice. I don't want to completely take away the challenge of the final boss, because he isn't really all that hard, to be honest with you. Um, he's not easy, but he's not hard if you time your if you know what you're doing, it's not hard. So, I'm going to finish up the Ancient Castle after this fight, get riding, and you'll see. Um, then we'll leave, and then the next video, this team will go after Zone Eater, which is also the last secret character. So, that's basically what I'm doing, and I'm really hoping I can get all what I need done done, so let's go. Acid rain. You are blocking just about everything, aren't you? And that completely missed realm, which is good. I don't mind that in the slightest. God, lock, you are so badass. If that's as hard as you can hit me, then I'm clean. They need water defensive shields, though. That make Leviathan so much easier. If at least one person was immune to his backhanded ways. You know what? You can attack. Mog can heal. Because he's Mog and useless for all else. Haha. <laughs> Ow. Hey, we win. <laughs> See, that fight goes a lot like uh, Leviathan. Only Leviathan not only hits harder, but uh, Leviathan's Leviathan, so he's stronger. But... 10 magic AP, the Xantet Suken. Four dragons remaining. We give the Xantet Suken to him. Yeah. Never would have thought that, huh? It is a knight sword. It is the only knight sword that uh, Cyan can use, and Locke can't. Anyway, talk to the statue. Even the queen was turned to stone. From the stone, is that a tear? Odin's magicite surges with newfound power. Odin becomes Raiden. Oh, hell yeah. And if you check it now, we no longer have Odin, but we do have Raiden. Cleaves all enemies into Shin Zantetsuken. And instead of teaching Meteor, it teaches Quick. Very useful. Very useful. Um, not yet, though. So, that concludes the ancient castle. I wonder if we can actually teleport out. We probably can't. We cannot. So, this concludes the video, though. I'm going to walk my ass out of here. Collecting any treasure I might have forgotten, and if I forgot anything huge, I will be sure to show you. And we still don't have enough money for the uh, Excalibur. That's going to take a while. Um, this has been Fenrir, and next time I will be outside at the airship and we'll go off to get to the Zone Eater. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.